is this place? I wonder how the colony would react if they knew about this? <laughs> Most likely there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see. When you get to the presence chamber. Eve, here. Come on, we're almost there. Hey, Rael. It's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Where the memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. See, we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Netiba. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well, then I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? 
By fusing four alpha cores together, you create something called a master core. Only with the master core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... how do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Natiba. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Eve, hey, here. Please follow Adam. Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Hey, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. Is this some kind of graveyard? No. The people here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Ave, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells, if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma. Outsiders, thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh. This here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say. So I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Natiba. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. 
Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ava, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. for sisters, John. Keep going down this road till you see the stairs on the right. Anyways, it's been a while since I've seen an angel. An angel in Zion. The prophecy will soon come true. An angel in Zion. The prophecy will soon come true. Are you the owner of the shop? Th that's right. Uh, at least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm. Uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? Oh, no, no, no. You... You can just take this. I, uh, heard you come to help us. O of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I now? Oh, I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, 
I was out working in the scrap plains of the wasteland. When I ran into some Natibas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Oh! oh thank you very much! Welcome! Sisters Junk... Oh, Angel! I didn't know it was you. Didn't mean to catch you off guard. No, no, it's okay. What brings you here? I'll stop by if I have the chance. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again. <laughs> 